Hey there guys, and welcome back to Syrup and the Ultimate Sweet, and thank you so much for the support on the first episode, it was incredible! Like, more so than for any other, like, non-Love Live, non-Pokemon related Let's Play that I've done, this is definitely the most support I've gotten for a game right out the gate, and that's surprising considering it's such a new and relatively unknown game. Because it's just that cute, I suppose. <laughs> and I really, really hope it gets more exposure. Um, I actually did contact the developer, Nom Nom Nami, who created this for the Game Jam. Um, and she saw this Let's Play, so if you're watching this, Nami, hi! I really love your game! Thank you so much for making it, and thank you so much for for watching. I, I hope that I'm doing your characters justice. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm, I'm so glad to continue this game, and I'm really psyched to, to see a bunch of the endings. So we're gonna try... Well, I'm gonna probably record for a while, and, and then chunk up this recording um, for episodes going forward. Um, but for now, to start with, I'm actually gonna look at a couple of the hints on the bottom of the screen, because I've noticed a couple of them going by as I've set up the options here. Uh, the first one being, be sweet to the sweet, and you'll see something sweet, which I think we are already on the path to be doing, so that's good. You don't need anyone else. You can do it all on your own. Hmm. So if you do want to go it without gumdrop, I'm guessing, then that is possible. Or maybe even without Bastille, maybe? Hmm. He appreciates it when you make up for your mistakes. Well, we've certainly seen that when we just reeled ourselves back from the candible ending. <laughs> I wonder if that's what that refers to. Or if there's other things. The ultimate dessert! I mean, ultra sweet! I mean, you know what I mean. Hmm, I wonder if that's significant or if, it's, or if that's just something cute. Hey, you cleared the game! Have you seen all the endings yet? Um... Here's the ending list, by the way, I didn't show. We got the candle end. You ate her. I can't believe you actually ate her. And then we have, what is it, nine more endings left? So there's still plenty left to see. Good. It's not the same sucker the whole time. It's just her favorite flavor, okay? <laughs> Explaining why she has the same sprite with the same sucker all the time. I love it. Hint, they're only selling Swedish fish now. Aha! Uh -huh. Weird. Once upon a time in... Where was it? Sorry, it must not have been very memorable. <laughs> is that referring to the fact that this land doesn't seem to have a name? This flavor text is... Strawberry! <laughs> Yay. Strawberry's my favorite. Hint, it's not going to be easy, nya. Do you like witches? I so want both a butterscotch end and a toffee end. I am all about this. An ending fit for an ice queen? Ha! Huh. Is there a character I don't know about yet? Huh. Yuri Jam 2015! Ironically, this one contains the least Yuri of all her things. <laughs> And I do want to play her other games now that I know what they are. Apparently Romance Detective and Tunnel Vision are both also very good, and I may play them in the future on this channel if people if people are really open to it, because I, I would love to check them out. Hint, as long as you're nice to her, she won't put a hex on you. That sounds like good advice for interacting with Butterscotch. Okay, I think I've seen probably most of them at this point. So let's go back into the game. Load from where we last left off, I think. Yeah, this is our last save point. Alright, yes. We'd just gotten down into the lab again. Gumdrop, what are you doing in my lab? Oh, Syrup! I am organizing your bookshelf. Why? What are you even doing up right now? The store doesn't open for another few hours. I do not require sleep. You'd think that Syrup would know this by now, having worked with her for several weeks now, I, I'm guessing, but oh well. Anyway, you shouldn't come down here without permission and start moving my things around. I don't like it. Oh, may I come in and- You already did, but whatever, I guess it's fine. It, it's not like I like you or anything. Sarah, I have noticed a trend with the books in your personal library. Oh yeah? What's that? They are all very boring. <laughs> 
as you would expect a scientist's library to be, I suppose. Gee, thanks. Only one book is abnormal. It is the only one with reference to magic. Magic? Throw it out. Wait, isn't this... Oh yeah, it's an old family cookbook. My grandma wrote it. I am sensing high levels of nostalgia. Syrup's cold heart has been softened by memories from days long past. Yeah, yeah. See this page here? When I was a kid, making this was my dream. The ultimate suite of the title, I suppose. A legendary confection said to have only been crafted once before by the greatest alchemist in the world. Flavor rating, 100 stars. Shelf life, eternal. Those who partake in the suite are blessed with great fortune. Upon consumption, a temporary enlightened state is attained, and you find yourself crying for reasons you cannot place. Obtaining the ingredients for the ultimate suite require both magical talent and mastery of science, making it exceedingly difficult, if not utterly impossible, for one person to create on their own. But the hint said you can do it on your own! I wonder if it meant this, possibly. Hmm. The ultimate sweet? Is it yummy? Only the most delicious thing to ever exist. I used to tell Pastille I was going to make it one day so that he could taste it. But, like the book says, the main ingredient is impossible to find without magic. I guess I kind of gave up on it. Master Pastille wanted to eat this? Yeah, a long time ago. He probably forgot about it by now. Syrup! We should make it! Uh, like I said, I had to give up on it. You can't make it without magic, so I don't want to. But we can ask, um, I mean, a witch can help us. Not happening. You should not give up on your dream. This is our chance to work together and get along even more. You're always going on about that. Are you obsessed with being friends or something? Precisely! Alright, Candy Weirdo. Let's figure out a way to make the ultimate sweet. Without magic. Good! And while Master Pastille eats it, you can eat me! I've said it a thousand times. I'm not eating you. Disappointment. It's for your own good, you sweetie pie. Little heart drop. Oh my... Ah! Don't get it eaten! Come on then, we'll need to do some research before we go out gathering ingredients. Choco Library. Alright, we're back to these guys then. Alright, keep an eye out for any encyclopedias about plants. Candy Alchemist, what a surprise! And you brought your new assistant. To what do we owe this pleasure? It is the well-dressed twins from yesterday! Are you also looking for books? No, my dear. Our family owns the library. Really? Huh. You ought to have known that. Certainly you've lived here long enough by now. We're always dilly-dallying, so if you're looking for something in particular, allow us to direct you to the proper shelves. I didn't notice this last time, but Milk Chocolate is totally wearing a skirt and he looks amazing. That's great. How convenient. We need information on a certain plant, so if you could help us speed up the process, we'd appreciate it. Glad to be of assistance, Candy Alchemist. We look forward to tasting whatever it is you're synthesizing. All the plants in this book look so interesting. I would like to see some of them in person one day. It's got stuff from all over the world. We'd have to travel pretty far to see even half of these. Traveling with Syrup! We would definitely become great friends if we went on a long journey together. Hopefully for this thing we won't have to go too far. Oh, this page! This is exactly what we need! Frosted Cremilla, a rare species of vanilla orchid that miraculously thrives in frozen environments. Ice queen, ice queen. This magical plant will melt into ordinary water when removed from colder climates, but its fruit can last up to three days depending on storage temperature. Because it inexplicably grows from cryotic soil, it is believed by some cultures to be born from the tears of an ice goddess. According to this, we should be able to find it on Mount Sorbet. <laughs> Mount Sorbet's... yes. Great. But... But? That's impossible. We definitely need magic to even have a chance at finding it. 
so we will ask a witch to help us. I am sure Miss Butterscotch would... Absolutely not. Then how do you plan to get the final ingredient? Look, it's not gonna happen. That mountain is home to a ton of monstrous beasts, and it's freezing cold. I'd probably die if I went on my own. I shall accompany you, Syrup! You wouldn't be able to move in those temperatures. You're made of candy, remember? I'll be fine if you keep me warm. Just put me in your mouth and- Stop, we're not going. Aww. Who would ever go to such crazy extents just to make some special dessert? Kind of a waste of effort if you ask me. You're right, Syrup. It is silly. Let's quit. Are you angry? Nope. Master Pastille will not even know that he missed anything. It really was just a waste of time. Ugh, gumdrop. Absorbed in thought, Syrup takes her time returning home. Was it worth it to deny her friend what would surely be the most delicious treat in the world just to hang on to her stubborn pride? She had never thought about it before. Asking a witch for help seemed impossible for a variety of reasons. But soon she might just have to... Oh, Sai, where have you been all morning? Out. Fair enough. If you see Gumdrop, could you ask her to run the register for a while? Business has been picking up, so I actually need the help. She isn't here? I thought she was with you. No, I... I might know where she went. Just keep working. Don't worry about it. I'll be back. Not like I have any other choice. Oh well. That seemed oddly sad. Butterscotch's Cottage. Yes! Meow wow, it's the Candy Alchemist again. I need your help. You're the only people I can ask. I don't want Pastille to know about this. Uh, oh, what is it? Something serious? Need to bury a body? No, Gumdrop ran off. I think she went to Mount Sorbet to get a rare ingredient for this thing she wants to make. Whatever, you guys don't need to know the details. Ah, so that's where she was going. I saw her pass by and wondered, yeah. What? Why didn't you stop her? I greeted her, but that girl was on a mission. She barely even told me where she was padding off to. She just pointed to the mountain and said that way. You should know I have a policy. <laughs> a policy of never asking too many questions. Curiosity only leads to trouble for folks like me. Useless cat. At least that confirms she was definitely going in that direction. I wonder how far she got. Do you think something bad happened to her? What has she got eaten along the way? If it's too cold, we w she won't be able to move. And if she doesn't come home, Pastille will get upset and probably blame me for it. She wants me to make this special recipe for him, and if he knew she was only trying to get the last ingredient because I said I wouldn't go, well... I guess I'd blame me too. Say no more! I'll help find your dear sweet gumdrop! But only if you give me a taste of whatever it is you're planning on making. <laughs> oh, I think... I want to see what uh, I want to see what that you can do it alone thing happen or er, is for. Mm. But I also kind of want our best chances of succeeding. Mm. Ah! I guess we can just keep saving. We have lots of save spots, but I doubt we'll be able to come back to all of these. Hmm. Well, we're going for Gumdrop. And Gumdrop said we should be nicer to Butterscotch, so I think let's let her help. Ugh, fine. I need magic anyway, so I might as well use you. One taste. That's it. We'll negotiate the times later. Let's go get your candy back. What about you, Cat? Feel like climbing a mountain with us? No, thanks. That place is all snow and dogs. I can hardly stand the thought of it. I'm a city dweller at heart, nya. Just wait right here for us, Toffee. We'll be right back before you know it. Be safe, nya. Oh, she's a little blushy. Oh, there's a little thing there, maybe. Oh. Oh, she has a pepper. Adorable. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to squeal for a second there. 
I hate the cold. It's not that bad, but I guess it's different for someone who's not protected by magic. Hee hee hee. How about I bury you in the snow to see what happens to your magical protection against that? Oh my dear Candy Alchemist, aren't we supposed to be partners on this little quest? You can't talk that way to a party member. Let's just get along. Oh, not you too. Hmm? Huh? Gumdrop's always insisting she wants to get along with me. Why do I need to get along with anyone? Why can't I just do things my own way without annoying people trying to befriend me? Uh, annoying? <clears throat> I didn't say we should be friends. I just think it'd be best if we cooperate. Fair enough. This place can be pretty dangerous. I've read there's ferocious wolves that'll gang up on you and rip you to shreds. W wolves I'm not afraid of any wolves. How about a whole pack? Do you think you could take him out with your magic? Easily. Oh, really? You're trembling. That's just because of the cold. Hey, what's that ahead? Is it a wolf, a monster, syrup, do something? I think we found Gumdrop. Oh, she's so cute, even though she's frozen solid. She's completely frozen. I wonder if she's conscious right now. Hey, Candy Idiot! I told you this would happen if you came up here. You're lucky we found you. Wolf Girl! Wolf Girl! Wolf Girl! She's adorable, too. Hmm, so someone was looking for her. A little soft-spoken for a wolf, but she seems like a quiet kind of character by the look. Wolf! Butterscotch, you're being rude. I've been watching this golem for a while now, wondering if anyone would show up to fetch her. Huh? You live around here? Hmm. We actually came to find a special plant. Do you think you could take her to your house to thaw while we go get it? I promise we won't be too long. Psst! Syrup, what if she eats a- Dogs don't really have a sweet tooth, right? I prefer meat. See? Nothing to worry about. This way is a lot more convenient than taking her all the way home and then having to hike all the way back up here for one little plant. I don't mind taking her in. Seeing her frozen in place for so long was kind of sad. We don't know who you are. Why should we trust you with something as valuable as living candy? Treat. Huh? That's my name. Aw, that's cute. It's my name. Now we're acquainted. All right, Butterscotch, do you have any other problems, or can we get going now? No, no, glad it's all settled. Let's go and find your rare ingredient, whatever it was, and go home. Sorry, she's more of a cat person. Syrup, right? I smell a pretty powerful spell on that witch. Is she really okay to be up here wasting that much magic? A spell? I don't know what you're talking about. I guess ordinary humans can't sense that kind of thing. It's plain as day to me. Anyway, it smells like something useless. Tell her to concentrate on survival. I want to be able to return your golem later. Sure. Thanks. After receiving directions from Treat, the pair continues up the mountain. Syrup felt at ease knowing Gumdrop was safe, but Butterscotch seemed to be having a rough time. Things only got worse as they ran into trouble. Scary wolf! <laughs> Super scary! Oh my god, too scary for me! Vanishing growl, rawr! Ah, oh, we're a real wolf! What are you doing? Scare it off with your magic! Oh, I hate this monster! Pink wolf? Ruff! <laughs> you turned it pink? That was supposed to be a fireball! I don't know what happened! Either way, I guess it worked. Lucky break? Mm. Butterscotch, you wouldn't happen to have, like, a curse on you or anything, right? Rude! I am not cursed! I'm completely fine! I, I just lost focus and messed up. It happens to everyone. Your teeth are chattering. What happened to your magic protection against the cold? It's windy, and maybe I'm not as strong as I thought. Are you happy? Oh, cuties. 
Oh. I don't want this to mess up my gumdrop ending, though. <laughs> Such save. I have to. I have to offer her my coat. It's too sweet. <laughs> uh, do you want my coat? Well, what? No, you need it, don't you? I can make a sacrifice if it means you'll talk normally again. Oh, cute! Thanks. You're not as mean as I thought. Grr, ah. It came back with more. Time to go. Wow, 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 wow. Syrup and butterscotch escape into a frozen cave. The witch hastily seals the entrance with ice, forcing the wolves to abandon their chase. Exhausted, the pair takes a well-deserved rest. Hey, you alright? No, this is awful! I should have stayed home with Toby when it's safe and warm! Well, at least we should be able to find what we're looking for in here. This is the exact environment Frosted Cremilla thrives in. You can just chill here if you want. I'm going further in. How dare you make a joke in a time like this? You're as bad as Toffee. Mm. Oh, Sarah, wait! Don't leave me alone! Oh! We found it! Yep, found it! Jerk, how could you leave me behind like that? Oh, is that what we came for? Yeah, I just need to grab some of the fruit and we can go home. Good. Grab a ton so we never have to come back. Mm, take only what you need sounds best. I don't have a use for this many, and if I need more, we've got experience now. It won't be nearly as much trouble for us the second time, right? You want to go through all this again? I don't know. I think we made an alright team. But all I did was mess up. We got what we came for, didn't we? Now let's get out of here. Um, hey, you look really cold. You should take your jacket back. Huh? Nah, don't worry about me. You're smaller. You need all the warmth you can get. I don't feel right hogging it. It's your jacket, so let's take it back already. If you insist. Alright, magic the ice away so we can get out of here. Right. Take this! Uh, nothing's happening. Quit messing around and break the ice. What if the wolves are still there? I don't hear them or see their shadows. We should be fine. Right. Okay, for real this time. <laughs> Is something wrong? You know you can talk to your doctor about this sort of thing. I'm just stressed out, so my magic's not working right. Shut up. So we're trapped in here? No! No, we're not trapped! I'm a great witch! Just a stupid spell doesn't want to happen! Ah! Okay, we're a little trapped. Uh -huh. Magic is connected to your state of mind, right? Try to calm down. Calm! I am calm as frick! Butterscotch. Everything is under control! My emotions are completely in check! My magic is working just fine! Butterscotch! What? Talk to me. What's wrong? I don't know. It's cold. What if I can't get us out of here? Are you gonna die because of me? No, you're a great witch. Remember, we'll make it. But I can't even get this spell to work. Sail in the cave was an accident in the first place. I panicked and I just... Hey, you'll get it, okay? You've got talent. If you could make gumdrop, you could melt ice. Just take a deep breath and try again. I didn't. Hmm? I didn't make gumdrop. I don't know who did. I just took the credit to make myself look better. I'm so sorry. You thought wrong. Stupid! Ice! Stupid! Wall! Stupid! Stupid! Oh, don't cry, Butterscotch. Oh. Butterscotch, is your magic still going haywire? Because you look different. What? I, oh, my, my spell came undone. Don't 
look at me! This body's just an illusion, it's not the real me. Oh, that's not very convincing. So this is what she meant. That wolf girl from before told me you were wasting all your magic with some useless spell. She doesn't look that much different other than like the one sprite change. It's not useless, I ain't need it. I can't let anyone except Toffee see me this way. Please don't tell anyone. Why do you hide behind a transformation all the time? People don't take you seriously when you look like I do. Oh, wait, I see. Is she supposed to be, like, kind of chubby? Is that the thing? I thought she looked like she was, like, a kid in that. Like, she looks smaller. No, it's because she's overweight and she's self-conscious. Oh, poor girl. I can relate. I can so relate. People don't take you seriously when you look like I do. I want to be a beautiful, fearsome witch that everyone admires, but instead, I'm... <laughs> I'm... You're... Everything about me is fake, alright? I'm always lying to everyone and barely any good with magic and I can't even bear to let anyone see what I really look like. And now we're gonna die because I'm a big fat coward who can never tell you the truth. Are you happy? Well, say something. Why are you gonna yell at me? Don't you hate me? Oh yeah, she is- yeah, she's- she's chubby. Oh, Of course I don't hate you. If we're heading towards a butterscotch ending, that's fine by me at this point. I don't hate you at all, butterscotch. I never have. What are you saying? Sometimes I wonder why we're always fighting. And I guess it's because that's the way we are. It's not like I ever actually hated you. You're lying! Why would I lie? There's no point, since we'll both be dead soon enough. Unless we figure a way out of here, that is. But, I mean, I thought you hated anyone who can do magic. You do, don't you? That's not it. I just... I think that being able to do things without magic takes an incredible understanding of the world and its elements. And that's awesome. So when it feels like no one else sees that, I get frustrated. Maybe I don't trust magic users in general, but still, no. I've never hated you just for being a witch. What? Why are you staring at me like that? Well, aren't you at least gonna make fun of me? For looking like this? Why should anyone care what you look like? It's not their business. You're not hurting anyone, so who cares? You just don't get it. Everyone thinks you're cool. You don't even have to try. You don't know what it's like. Hey, I try hard to be taken seriously, too. Everyone sees my alchemy as a gimmick. It's like I'm doing cheap tricks compared to anyone else in that town full of magic users. Well, anyone can make decent candy with magic, but yours tastes the best. Of course they do. I'm a genius when it comes to candy making. Jeez, he's so confident. I have to be. Otherwise, I'd just give up and do something boring with my life instead. Oh, little sweethearts. Hey, remember the day we first met? When I came into your store to make fun of how bad your alchemy would make a candy taste, but then you forced me to try a piece? And you were so impressed that you begged me to teach you how to make them. But I was still mad, so I refused. And you declared us rivals. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I just think, maybe if not for our big egos, we could have become friends sooner. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Thanks, Syrup. I feel a lot better. My magic might work now, so I'm gonna give it another shot. With her mind at ease, Butterscotch is finally able to focus and melt away the wall of ice that had trapped the pair in the cavern. They make their way back down the mountain without incident, to an unfrozen and very relieved gumdrop. Eager to get working on the ultimate suite, they promptly return Butterscotch to her cottage. <laughs>